So we're here in Montreal in the, the beautiful Plateau, which is a really nice part of town. And we're at Cafe Olympico having our morning coffee before our workout. And I'm with Fred, my boyfriend, and Erica, my sister. And, Casey, uh, I noticed. Yeah, my twin. So, uh, yeah, we're just getting ready to get the day started. Delicious coffee. Best coffee in town. Best coffee in town, really. <laughs> and it's probably the only reason I wake up in the morning. My workout in yesterday in Toronto was freaking awful. It was 30 clean and jerks at 135, and then three, three rounds of 400 meter run, 20 lunges, and 10 muscle ups. And I felt like I was going to throw up the whole time. So every time I went for my rings, I was just like, <laughs> and I'm in front of people that, that see me always at my prime. <laughs> Everyone's just like, what's the shell doing taking a break? I'm like, Whoa. <laughs> So, yeah, it was fun. When I started training, she was like my go-to person for anything. She's like, she's always have good form. So I always, uh, I try to look at her legs and what she does with her legs. So I always watch her because she, it's so nice to watch her. I don't know. Good form. <laughs> she kind of gave me a heads up on everything, on diet and this and that, because we're, we're twins. So we have same body type, same hormone, you know, experiences. So She, she she like did all the dirty work and she's giving me all the good advice so I think that's because that's why I've gotten better fast that's why like after one year I made it to the regionals and because she kind of warned me about everything and she really coached me properly through everything when you train with someone you're so close to it's easy to kind of to, to lose patience and like when we when we do train together we understand each other <laughs> We understand each other and she, she knows exactly when to come talk and when to encourage and when not to. So I'm kind of picky about that, but she knows me well, so it's really fun. Like when, she's, when she first started training with me in the morning, it was a lot of questions, but Erica's a really fast learner, so training with her became really like just kind of two, two people doing what they got to do without question, without like kind of without slowing down, so it's super, super fun, very efficient training with her. <laughs> so when we were young, Erica and I did a lot of the same activities. We swam, we dove, we did synchronized swimming, we played water polo together, and then she started doing competitive dancing, so we kind of drifted apart there. But then high school came and she stopped dancing. And I continued with water polo, so we began to kind of separate in activities. So we, we had different friends and different gangs and completely different lifestyles. Gangs. G different gangs. Got yeah. serious now, of course. <laughs> so then, like the last year of university, I started doing CrossFit, and she didn't get into it until about uh, just recently, like like a year and a half ago or so. And then once we started crossfitting and we started hanging with the same people, it was like when we were young again, we had the same interests and hanging out together much, much more. And Erica and I are both really passionate people and very emotional. So, you know, the stress before a competition, like my, my parents don't, they don't get it. Like my dad gets it, but my parents don't really get it. And nobody got it before. And then um, and now Erica's in the sport, so she understood and she was really, really supportive of me before regionals and coming up to the game, she's been there for me and, and making sure that I, I don't overtrain and I'm eating enough. And Oh, you got my message! <laughs> she didn't ask me. I'm a, yeah, I'm very concerned. It's nice because she comes in and it's pretty much all the stages that I went through, just she's doing it a lot faster than I am. <laughs> wow, when you learn from the best. But you cast a pretty big shadow. Like I go, I go to, I go to <laughs> well, places. Ever. And they're like, oh well, you know, you must be amazing because you're Michelle's sister. And then I'm like, damn it, I have to do good now. I'm like crap. It's like reading a textbook when she works out. Like it's a really exciting textbook. <laughs> no, but it's like it's con consistent. And I look at her and I try to mimic that consistency as much as possible. Oh. Definitely proud of her. She she's come a long way really fast, and it's like, you know, it's really amazing when you see people in your family do it. And Erica is an example where, like, no matter what, she, no matter how she did in the open or whatever, it was really just admirable. 
ridiculous drive. I, she's the most uh, intense person I've ever met in my whole life, entire life for the longest period of time. And, like, you, how can you not be proud of her? And, and I'm not allowed to be compared. I'm not allowed to want to beat her because this is her domain. This is her thing. She's gonna go really, really far. And I know she's gonna. I'm pretty sure this candle. I'm pretty sure we're gonna make top 15 at least this year. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty darn sure. Man, man, through through thick and like through everything, she just keeps going through everything. Sometimes I have to kind of steer her in the happy domain. Sometimes she gets too too involved, and then I'm just like, yo, lighten up and yeah. have fun, have fun. She's the bitch slap. Yeah, she's the bitch. I'm the, I'm sometimes the she bitch slaps me out of things. Let's, I don't know. I just how can you not be proud of like Quebec, you know, girl going in three times in the games and she moves so well and like like so consistently good and she knows herself and she's such a smart athlete. She's such a smart athlete. <laughs> it's true. Thank you. We are at. Tonic Performance Lab in Griffintown in Montreal and we're about to do a speed and agility session with my coach Alexandre Doré. So uh, hopefully he won't he won't make me work too hard. I'm a little tired from this morning, but this is my second session and it's gonna be mainly mainly some agility work and some jumping and some sprinting and some here and there kind of weird stuff. Well, this year, I mean, as as you progress, and especially as a games athlete, it's it, all, it becomes up to a point where it's all about detail, and the sport is evolving to that point. So, people could get get away with brute strength or just being really good at a specific movement and kind of get away with work in that with workouts. But as the sport grows, like in any sport, you become very every little bit of detail counts in the end. And, and uh, the like, they're probably not going to have any kind of events like this in the games, like what I'm doing. But it's definitely going to help me be more confident in things that I've never done before. Because every day I come here, it's it's something that I've never really done for before. The the core of the exercises, like the warm ups and whatever, are the same. But he always throws me into a position that I'm not comfortable. So that's part of the detail that I've been working on this year. And this is one of the things, you know. But. You have no choice at this point to, to go into this kind of, you know, fine-tuning. We're at CrossFit Plateau now. So this is my home base. This is where I work. This is where I train most of the time. So I'm the manager at uh, CrossFit Plateau. I deal with the day-to-day -day stuff that happens. Um, I do... Um, emails, I answer questions, I'm here, make sure that everything runs smoothly, uh, equipment-wise, I do also uh, marketing some of the website stuff and just kind of like the administrative stuff behind what goes on in the gym. I definitely love what I do and I take care of everything that, that has to do with my career and I've always been like that, whether it's sport or, or, or whatever. Um, like it's important when I do something I want to do it well so to me it's a different kind of competitiveness I'm not like I don't consider myself to be a very competitive person so to speak but because I want to do everything really well and I want to make sure that 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 everything just kind of falls into place I make sure that I take every step necessary so that it happens so in this case it's sport to me CrossFit as a sport is my profession and I do everything to make it to make it really perfect and mistakes happen you learn from them and then you take those mistakes those 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 weaknesses and you just have to you just have to drill it so that every everything that you do becomes even more perfect so if you're passionate about anything you can't you can't do it half ass it won't work it's not a passion so this I'm very very lucky to use this this passion and to make it pretty much at the moment my life so um, I can't I can't like I, I, I every night I go to bed 
lucky t- thanking like everyone around me that supported my decision when I left those those corporate jobs to kind of pursue this instead of scolding me they supported me and and I thank them for it because it's allowed me to really flourish as a person and and it allowed me to kind of be happy without stressing about I'll be happy later but like I'm happy now I'm I'm only 27 and I'm already doing exactly what I need to be doing so I'm really really lucky to to have found that and to kind of live it now and not later